YouTube Oz it going the Goat House is back with seven potential surprise NFL playoff teams to watch this season. So some sneaky teams here and some a little more surprised than others, starting with one that's not super shocking with the Seattle Seahawks. But I do see people really doubting them. People think they're kind of going backwards or they're kind of resetting, hitting the reset button, starting to rebuild. And I just don't think that's the case. I think they're trying to retool while being a competitive team still. So I do think people are sleeping on them. And a common theme in this video, and this is kind of something we do every year, which end up being pretty accurate. Like we usually find some sneaky teams, but a common thing here what we look for is teams that could be a tricky game plan. Uh, you know, teams that are tricky to game plan for. Uh, you know, kind of fresh, new look teams, new coaching staffs, new players. And it's such a short season that these teams, like they're trying to scramble to figure out the best way to game plan for these teams. They're, they're, again, not a lot on film for them, especially early in the season. And that'll be a common theme throughout this video. But the Seahawks have a new look staff. Um, they already have weapons, but I think this new look staff could get the most out of these players, especially Geno Smith. I think people think he's declining, but I think Ryan Grubb and his offense could get a lot more out of him and a lot more, a lot more out of this passing game. They already have the three-headed monster at the receiver position, uh, you know, so they should get more out of the passing game than what people think. And they have a two-headed monster in the backfield with Walker and Charbonnet, so they'd be pretty balanced as well. Improved offensive line, which needed to be done. So I think this offense will be a little more consistent than last year. Uh, then defensively, Mike McDonald's a defensive wizard. He's a very good defensive coach. And that defensive line is legit. You know, with uh, Byron Murphy and Draymond Jones. I think that the guys on the off the edge will be a little bit better than expected as well. And we know they have some guys uh, that can play in the secondary, kind of led by Witherspoon there. So I think McDonald's going to get the most out of this defense you know, looking what he did with Baltimore, getting more out of these young players, and the defense was mu playing much better than how it looked on paper. The linebacker unit's the only thing. Like, isn't is it good enough for Mc, you know McDonald's defense? Uh, but there's you know uh, again a lot of playmakers, a lot of weapons, a lot of units that I really like. Think they're underrated, and again they're going to be a little tricky to deal with. New look staff, they'll get more out of Geno Smith. I, I really think so. So, uh, but yeah, going back to Ryan Grubb, you know from Washington, it's like a is he going to run that college style spread offense at times? It's going to be, it's not what NFL teams are used to. So the Seahawks can get back in the playoffs. I think it's very possible, even though people are doubting them. And then maybe one more that's not, wouldn't com be completely shocking to everyone because again, the Colts were one game away in 2023. They may fall into the category where we're maybe so close yet so far. I wouldn't say that far away, um, but why maybe why did they come up short? What's the biggest reason? And I think maybe they didn't fully have the talent yet. Again, what end of their season Minshew going to Goodson? It's like they didn't really fully have that talent yet. How they won some games because they were a tough game plan last year. Shane Steichen was a new offensive co or a new coach, a new offensive coach on a new team that it, it it people just really didn't know. Remember they started off very well too. It's just people really didn't know how to game plan for it. So uh, that's the big question for this year. Our team's going to start to figure it out, or is it going to carry over? You know, it's a really good offensive coach, but maybe a little more talented this year. I, I, you know, for the most part, free agency, they stayed the same, but they did add some talent again to the draft. Um, Anthony Richardson, it's really going to depend on him. Like, I can see all of the above with him. I can see him you know, being that raw prospect that he, that he's supposed to be where he's a little inconsistent, you know, a little off with the accuracy in, in terms of consistency and then maybe struggle. And that, that's okay because that's kind of how, what he's supposed to be. I could see him figure it out really quickly because he has a ton of upside. You know, there's a reason we say he has a ton of upside. Um, he has a rocket arm. He has athletic ability, his ability to throw on the run. He really fits that Steichen in offense. And then you can see the scenario, which we really, really hope we don't, is that he's injured again because there was multiple injuries in four games last year and one that ended his season. So uh, hopefully we don't get that one. But there's so many different scenarios we could see with Richardson, so a lot is going to depend on him. How is this going to be different in a good way from last year, from the Minshew offense? Um so he could be a problem for opposing defenses, tough game plan. Steichen's offense already tough to game plan for, uh, and he can progress rapidly, which we see a lot of quarterbacks do uh, recently more 
now than compared to the past, obviously, with the rapid progression. But we sometimes know if a quarterback is not it right away as well. Um, but, yeah, I, got, I kind of touched on it. I love the offensive system. I think it's tough to game plan for. That's kind of the question. Will it continue? A lot of time we see rookie head coaches, like, they're great because they're, there's not much it's an element of surprise, but then kind of get figured out as, the, as time goes on. So I don't really think – that will happen here. I, I like Steichen's offense and him as a coach enough where I think there'll be an issue. Another thing that maybe people don't talk about enough is we'll get it. We should get a full dose of Jonathan Taylor because the whole situation with him going into last year and they didn't really use him enough. I mean, at the end of the game, uh, the last, you know, what decided their fate last year, like where is Jonathan Taylor? So they didn't really want to give him that full dose. Uh, and maybe he was a little beat up here and there. Um, but I think we, we should get, and he's one of the best backs in football, so we should get um, a bit more of him, which could make them kind of add another element, I guess, to their to their game and be, be uh, help them be a little more tricky again to deal with. Like, hey, we got to watch out for Richardson, his legs, and then Jonathan Taylor's legs, but they have this stud at receiver, Michael Pittman. They got some up-and-coming studs at receivers, so that can make them a little tricky. Um, and there are a lot of young pieces that are continuing to develop. So it's just going to be how rapidly they develop. Um, you know, you see a team like the Lions, for an example, like why they're so good already is because they rapidly develop these young players. So it's that's a tough thing to predict. Um, that's probably one of the toughest things. Like you can say like, all right, this guy's a super good, young, talented player, so he should develop quicker. That's probably the best way to predict. But sometimes it's like, whoa, that guy developed – way quicker than expected or this guy's not developing you know it's it's tough to kind of predict those things so um we'll see what the Colts I think a lot a lot of it's on Anthony Richardson how, how quick he'll develop and will he stay healthy but defensively as well how will the secondary hold up that's kind of a big thing with them but um yeah they could be a team I think they need to be better than last year like they again so close but didn't quite have the talent they need to improve from last year to get there um and, and they very well could do that again depending on, I think, starting with the quarterback position, but the development of some of these young players. And then a rival there, the Tennessee Titans, I think really fall under that category of just new-look team, very tough to game, going to be very tough to game plan for, especially early in the season. They, you know, look at the Colts early last year. We talked about it. You know, it's just no one really knew what to expect from that offense at all. So they're tricky to game plan for, so they started off pretty high. I think the Titans could be, that, could be one of those teams this year. Um, you know, just... Brian Callahan offense, it's just so much different than the old Titans, uh, old school, you know, pound the football, you know, it, it was, that was pretty predictable, but sometimes you still couldn't really stop Derrick Henry, but now it's just a whole new look, it's just like, wow, how do we deal with this, how, how do we prepare for this, there's not a whole lot on film for this, there's really none of it on film, and they have weapons everywhere now, you look at the receiver position, and they still have weapons at running back, even though they lost Henry, uh, and then you look on defense, the corners, uh, they already had playmakers up front, you know, so it, it's, they, they got guys everywhere and, and it's a new look offense and defense really with the coaching staff. Uh, and it's possible Will Levis takes a, takes a big leap. It's a guy with a lot of upside because of his arm talent. Um, you wish, you know, he could be a little more accurate, maybe a little more touch on the ball, but it, it's, it's a guy that, you know, got thrown into a, shitty situation and he actually impressed I he was better than I expected for sure and I think a lot of people you know was he great no but it's like again young guy getting thrown in that situation pretty decent it kind of gives you a hope for for this year you know looking at an offensive minded head coach and that'll get a, the most out of his quarterback so it's pretty realistic to think he can take a major leap and, and make this a playoff team and they have playoff caliber units elsewhere and I like the balance they have and not just on offense but on offense you want this Brian Callahan offense and, and potential of Levis and and uh the receivers that they have it, depending on the offensive line but it, it could be a solid pass game and they should have a run game with Tony Pollard and Tajay Spears but then you look at defense they should be locked down in coverage with the corner duo they had led by Legeria Sneed and they have some good pass rushers from the edge and mainly from the interior Jeffrey Simmons but you look at the run defense as well like how are you gonna run on a Jeffrey Simmons to Vondre Sweat run defense like defensive front it's good it's going to be a little tricky, so I do, and it is very, very more important than people think to, you know, stopping the run on defense is very key to have a good, successful team. So I like the balance to have at the same time of being like a tricky, sneaky game plan team um, so that Titans could 
sneak away some wins, maybe more of those Miami Dolphin wins from last year, especially early on. And it's a, such a short season that they'll kind of tally up some wins early where it's they, they got kind of a head start. And it could be not just early. It could be throughout the, the season. So those are the types of teams I look for. And the Bears as well, and I think a lot of people kind of could be on a, on board with this one, kind of a lot of people's bold prediction that the Bears could make the playoffs uh, because they added a lot of talent. It, it's, uh, again, another one. It's uh, you know new look offense, a Shane Waldron offense led by Caleb Williams. You got Keenan Allen, Roma Dunze, DeAndre Swift in there. It, it's like, how do you game plan, first off, just for that new Bears offense, but for a Caleb Williams type offense, you know, how do you keep him in the pocket? How do you... Uh, you know, are it's tricky. Like, are at first, are they going to be like, are they going to try to run the football first? Are they going to be a little more balanced? Are they going to come out just be an air attack? Like, it could be any of it, any given week. So it's like, there's really no proper game plan for it. So those are the types of teams I look for with this. Those are the types of teams that get surprise wins and surprisingly have more wins than expected and surprisingly make the playoffs. So. Um, Again, exactly the teams I'm looking for. Uh, the defense, where they ended last year, was really solid. Eberflus kind of took over, and as the kind of season went on, defense looked really, really solid. It reminded me of like the Eberflus Colts defenses that were better than expected. Um, so if it picks up where it left off, it's really good defense. They stopped the run well. They were playmakers and or locked down. You know, Jalen Johnson was kind of known as maybe the best corner in football. Um, you know, they add Kevin Byard, who is declining, but I think he could play pretty well in Eberflus defense. But again, if they pick up where they left off, that that if they pick up where they left off, it kind of gives them a decent shot already. Uh, and then you factor in the tough game plan of the offense. So they they have explosive weapons everywhere. And again, I think it's pretty solid balance. Like they're. The defense should be solid. Uh, they should stop the run. They could defend the pass. The offense, again, they should be able to run the ball. They should be able to pass the ball. I do think, you know, Caleb Williams is a rookie. He could be a little inconsistent at first. It's going to be a lot different for him playing in a Lincoln Riley offense and an NFL offense. Um, and he's going to have to play better against better teams, unlike he did in college. So it's not really fair to put the expectations on him to be explosive and, and consistent every single week. But it's going to be tough to deal with, and he's going to make some big time plays. So Bears are definitely a team to watch. Uh, there come, and they have a last play schedule as well, so that helps them for sure. I think same with some of these teams that that by default kind of helps them. Uh, the Chargers, which. Maybe it wouldn't be super shocking, but maybe it would be for some people because on paper they don't look that great. They have some holes still. Um, you know, they they kind of had to tear it down a, a little bit, had to get rid of some key players, and the receiver unit is really lacking. So I think that's kind of what people look for, and the run defense might not be great, and that's kind of what people look at. But they definitely d did improve coaching on both sides of the ball, in my opinion. Um you know, it's a coaching staff. We'll get in there, and they know how to win football games. They know how to game plan. They know how to prepare. So that's big. Uh, very realistically, could have an a, a elite quarterback play. We know uh, whether you call Justin Herbert elite or not. We know he has elite talent, and it wouldn't shock anybody if he was elite all year. So that alone can make them a playoff team. Um, you know, they got to finish games a lot better. Herbert does as well, but I think a lot of it was kind of situational coaching, which kind of uh, uh, took them out of games or. Uh, you know, made it harder to finish games, I guess. Uh, that should not be the case this year in a good way, obviously. And they have a pretty damn complete offense line. If you got a complete offense line, it, you know, that combined with really good quarterback play, do you even need to talk about the rest of the things? You know, so that alone, again, could kind of put them in the mix. And they do have legit playmakers, even though they have some holes. Um, you know, they, they, you know, we talk about the, the quarterback, the offensive line. But looking at players like, Joey Bosa, if he's healthy, Khalil Mack, uh, Derwin James, Asante Samuel Jr., you know, players like that. So if you have those talented players, you, you got to be in the discussion, right? Got to stay healthy for sure. But also you bring in Greg Roman as the offensive play caller, and it's I think people are kind of expecting this to look like a Ravens offense, and it's not, though. Like it's You think you have a game plan for it, but you think you have a game plan for that because you've seen it before, but I don't think so. I think it's going to be a new look. You know, it's not the same offense. I think people are thinking like smash mouth football, like Harbaugh, what he did with Michigan, Roman, what he did with with the Baltimore Ravens. You have Herbert here. I don't think so. I think people are going to expect one thing, 
and, and I think you're going to get something. I could be wrong, but I think you're going to get something else, and that could really surprise teams and really could result in a tough game plan and some wins for the L.A. Chargers. So definitely a team to watch. Uh, Cardinals, a little bit, we're digging a little bit deeper here. Um, you know, because no one really at all is expecting the Cardinals to make the playoffs. But remember, we didn't have a full dose of Kyler Murray last year, and he's a good quarterback. Um, you know, he could be a little more consistent, but I, I think we'll get a little more, you know, a little more from him as he can actually get more reps in this offense. Remember, it was a new offense, new coaching staff last year. So, and he'll be a playmaker, and he's been a guy that's been a tough game plan because of his legs and his ability to throw on the run. Uh, the ability to air the ball deep. And I think Kyler with Marvin Harrison Jr. could be a deadly combo. Like, does the receiver unit look a lot different than it did last year? Not really, but they didn't have a Marvin Harrison Jr. last year. You know, I know they lost Hollywood Brown, but I think that combo could just be a big-time problem, tough to deal with. An improved roster, you know, obviously young players getting better, and it's just they're better in multiple areas, and there's some areas where they still have holes and they're still very, very young. Uh, and the defense could take a big leap because they've added, but I, I'm just a big believer in Jonathan Gannon as a defensive coach. You see the Eagles with and without him. Uh, obviously, the Eagles were way more talented, and not the Cardinals aren't them on paper, but uh, really good defensive mind. I, I think he can help this defense. And I do like the secondary. I like where the secondary is going, um, you know, and that's like his expertise, his, spe- his specialty there is coaching uh, the defensive backfield, I guess. So, uh, yeah, they could be a little bit of a surprise for those reasons. And another team that would be a bigger surprise as well is the Washington Commanders. Again, a new look team. I think will be tough to game plan for. R- Cliff-, Cliff Kingsbury gets ripped a lot in his last couple years in, in Arizona. But remember the the start for the Arizona Cardinals. They 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 were deadly. Like there was parts of regular the regular season at times where they looked like the best team in all of football. I know it didn't really work out in the long run, but you know, going to Washington with new players, like could that could we see some similarities at first? I you know with the explosive players they have, like it could be a very explosive offense. I could see it. I definitely could see this being a team tough to play against right away, and they can fire off some wins. They can tally off some wins early on because there's really no game plan for it. Um, it, it is a much improved roster. What they added in free agency, what they added to the draft. Huge, obviously. And then you know Dan Quinn's going to have this defense playing better. Like, is it going to be the Cowboys defense? I, I think that would be, you know, unfair to, to expect them that from them. But Dan Quinn's going to have this defense playing. Like, they're going to be playing pretty well. I don't think, I don't think they're going to lose games because this defense, really. or It happens to everybody, so it could happen here and there. But I don't think we're going to be consistently going like, well, if they had a defense or a defensive coach, they would have won. I don't think we're going to be saying that. You know, Offensively, there'll be hiccups because it's a Kingsbury offense. There's young players. The offensive line is still what I worry about. But they have weapons, and Jaden Daniels is a weapon, and it's – that LSU, you know, how he played for LSU is going to be a lot different in the NFL, but he's still an experienced, smart playmaker, so he's going to be tough to deal with, and he's going to be a playmaker out there at times, and maybe a lot of the times. So, um, again, it's another one of those teams that falls under the category. It's like, how do you game plan for this team? It's not that old school Rivera team anymore. Um, they're they're going to be explosive. They're going to explosive. They're going to be tricky. It's like week one. It's like. How do you sit down and be like, all right, this is what we're going ex- to to expect. They're going to do this when they look like this. You, know, you can't really do that. So those are the teams I kind of look for here um, and teams that kind of have weapons and explosive talent. So, again, some a lot more surprising than others. I think the Cardinals, Commanders, and Titans. The Titans wouldn't surprise me as much as the Cardinals and Commanders, though. Um, but those are teams to watch, those sneaky teams. If you have any different teams, let me know in the comments. We'll discuss. We're always discussing with you guys on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, curious, always curious to hear your guys' thoughts as well. Um, check out our channel. We got a bunch of draft con post draft content, uh, ranked NFL teams, power rankings and ranked NFL quarterbacks very recently as well. Check it all out. Uh, be much appreciated. Check out our sponsors, GLD shop, liquid IV, walk the mock code goat for a percentage off links, pin in the comments for anything you look forward. It's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.